besties! Welcome to the life of Jeannie where I try to find joy in my life and hopefully help you find yours. I know I'm a little late, but thank you so much for 1 million YouTube subscribers! Woo! Today is going to be a fun day because I am literally going to be spilling the tea on all of the questions that you had and you voted on for me to answer for today. So let's go! Once again, I just have to mention, that was my first time using that new YouTube intro. Isn't it the best? <laughs> so cute! It's just like me being all sweet and smiling and then just like casually throwing the Karens off the plane. <laughs> so before I actually start answering all of your questions, I'm just going to do a quick recap on where I was because for the last two months, I was kind of missing. I don't know if you know this. If you followed me on my other socials, you know that I was dealing with some personal problems. So about two months ago, I ended up closing down my pokey restaurants. They didn't survive COVID. I was very, very close to bankruptcy, almost losing everything. So yeah, I was pretty stressed out about that. Got it all figured out now, so I'm okay. Then I started my fertility treatments IVF because I really wanted a mini genie. The fertility treatments involve Johnny jabbing me with a needle about three, four times a day. I am terrified of needles, so I fainted a couple times. It was a terrible experience. But then it was all worth it because I got pregnant! Woo! And I lost the baby. <gasps> so yeah, I wasn't in a good place. But yeah, I'm back now. I'm okay. I had so much love and support from all of you, from my family and friends. I am good and I'm just back to creating videos because that is just what I love to do. It is what makes me happy. It brings me so much joy. So I'm just really, really happy to be back here filming with all of you. Okay, so that's enough about me. Let's go straight into the questions. The first question is from Hanny's Experiments. Can a normal person like me go to the cockpit? It's a dream. Due to safety and uh, potential hijackers of the plane, they do not allow anyone to go inside the cockpit during the flight. So don't even bother asking. We're gonna say no. However, some airlines I know do offer it uh, after you land. You can ask the crew if you're really, really nice. They might be able to give you a quick tour. All right, next question is from Shambhavi. Is it hard? The exam standing for hours and listening to every complaint. <laughs> the training process and the exams. It, it was hard. I'm not gonna lie. It was, it was pretty difficult. We had manuals for everything where you had to memorize everything and know it all and pass all the exams. And if you don't pass, you get moved back to redo it until you do. From what I remember, it was about 10% of trainees didn't even make it to the next, rather the next training period or to graduation or they quit because it was that hard. Standing for hours, I actually didn't mind. I prefer standing than sitting. The time flies by a lot quicker. But if I think about it, like the longest flight I've ever had was working 16 hours. From there, I've had a, like a three and a half hour break. So the rest of the time, I'm standing and working. So if you can't do that, you're in for a treat. I do remember that one of my first long haul flights, my body couldn't adjust and I was so tired that when I was serving coffee, I was like shaking, like, oh no! So I had to, uh, yeah, I had to sit out on that one. So it gets really tough on the body. Ah, and listening to every complaint, my favorite. You can choose to believe me or not, but it gets easier. Like the smile. <laughs> All jokes aside though, usually most of the complaints that come in are going to be valid, okay? The cr There's not too many crazies that I've, I've, I've encountered myself. So I really like to try to put myself into their position. Like if this had happened to me, would I be upset? And what would help the situation? And so really dealing with complaints, it, was, it wasn't so bad. Right, this question is from Amber Lee. How the hell do pilots sleep? <laughs> yes, of course pilots need to sleep. They need a break too, especially on the 16 hour flights. 
For the airline that I worked for, we've always had two pilots. We had the captain and the first officer. So there would always be someone in the flight deck while the other pilot takes a break. And for those that didn't know, for the long haul flights, where we take our breaks is actually above you. That's right. We have crew sleeping quarters, beds, and little bunks that we get to rest in for a few hours. You get to sleep or watch TV, do whatever we want. So if you notice that throughout the flight, like half the crew is missing and you wonder where they are, we're above you. This is a question from Craft Factory. If there's a medical emergency on flight and there's no doctor present on board, what do we do? Are we trained for all medical emergencies? We are not doctors. We are not medical professionals whatsoever. We get basic first aid training, first response. I have been very lucky. We've always seemed to have a doctor or medical professional on board when these things happen. So we've been good. And if there's no doctor on board, this is kind of cool. We have this machine where we will hook up the, the passenger and all the uh, vitals would actually get sent down to a doctor on the ground. There is an emergency satellite phone on board where we can directly talk to a doctor anytime and they will help us through the emergency. And of course, depending on what the emergency is, the captain will decide if we're going to make an emergency landing to the closest airport. Okay, so Demon Gamers asks, do flight attendants get free meals during flights? And what kind of meals? Our airline definitely gave the crew free meals. Sometimes crew do bring their own food or we can eat passenger food, whatever's left over. We do have crew food as well, but I prefer to go to like business class or first class and kind of be like chummy chummy with the crew and ask for their food because it's so Next question is from Alira Collin. What are some of the disadvantages of being cabin crew? Also, what would you recommend for people who want to be cabin crew? Good questions. Ooh, there's so many disadvantages. A lot, more than I thought. Well, if you look at any of my videos, those are disadvantages. <laughs> you definitely gonna get some health problems, insomnia, uh, unstable schedule, long working hours, difficult for relationships. It can get very, very stressful. A lot of, a lot of crew quit very quickly. But would I still recommend it? Hell yeah, it was the best time I've ever had! My tips for all of those people who want to become cabin crew, figure out which airline you want to work for. Once you figure out the airline, go to their webpage. They will have a careers tab. And on their career page, they will tell you what is required to become cabin crew for their airline. All airlines are different, which is why I can't really just tell you what the requirements are. For instance, the different airlines will have different height requirements, um, your educational requirements. The best way is just to look on their airline site. So Ella M asks, has anyone ever tried opening the emergency exit doors while the plane is flying? We can't actually open the door when the plane is in flight because of pressure. The door won't actually open. So all this gets at me throwing people off the plane actually is impossible. But not on my flight. People have actually tried to open the doors when the plane is landed, is grounded, and that's so because the slides and the doors just like swing open. So if there's anyone outside, you could actually kill them. And to the person that actually thinks it's funny to maybe open the door, eh, well, guess what? You're probably gonna get charged. Yeah, uh, maybe go to jail. I don't know, but definitely charged. I'm talking about when there isn't an emergency. Of course, when there is an emergency, that is what the doors are for. So we need to open it, but uh, yeah, don't do it for fun or whatever. Some people, some people are crazy. Glossy Pineapples asks, has anyone ever gotten hurt from not having their seatbelt buckled during takeoff or landing? Also, have you ever experienced a plane crashing into water? When it comes to having incidences on the plane like this, like a crash or something like that, that is so rare. It's like really, really rare. I've been on a ton of flights and the, the worst thing that's ever happened to me was severe turbulence and a rejected takeoff. Severe turbulence, I mean, things can go flying. 
So we always need to secure everything and make sure we do wear our seatbelts when the captain does put on the seatbelt sign. Uh, it can get pretty, pretty ratchet up there if you don't, don't do that. Nobody got hurt, which is amazing. So that means we did our job. The rejected takeoff, that was scary. I'm not gonna lie. So what that is, is when you're taking off and you know how fast planes are going during this time, the captain just decides to stop. So we just halt. So imagine you're not wearing your seatbelt. You <laughs> go flying, I would be going flying, things would just be everywhere. Uh, so that was a little bit scary. Rejected takeoff happens when, you know, something could be on the runway when we're there and they have to stop. In our case, it was because the captain noticed something wrong with the controls. I don't really remember what it was, but he decided to stop the plane rather than to take off. Because once you take off and you try to land when something is wrong, that is, that's worse. Um, so he made the right call. We went back uh to our gate and they were able to make sure that the flight was safe enough to take off again and to answer the question nobody got hurt just 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 rattled including myself <laughs> this is so much fun but last question because i can honestly go on forever okay this is from crackhead04111 you guys your names are crazy why would you name yourself crackhead <laughs> All right, so does the cabin crew secretly talk trash about Karens or just terrible people on the flight? <laughs> of course we do. Absolutely. Yes. So be nice. Because, yeah, we do talk trash about the passengers that are totally crazy or mean or Karens or Kevins. Thank you so much again, my friends, for 1 million subscribers. If you like this video, make sure to hit like, subscribe, put on notifications, all that jazz. I love you guys. Until next time. Bye.